Hey guys, here we are on the uh, World of Tanks website, the official website. We're going to do something a little different today, a little bit of an information video for you. Or, uh, or shall we say, uh, a no bullshit review of the new feature that has entered the game, the Anonymizer. There is now an Anonymizer in the game. And I, w I was just going to ignore this uh, and not even talk about it but there's been so many uh, videos and such a big reaction to it and you guys are sending me emails that i thought i would uh, give you the no bullshit uh review of it there's a lot of information here but they supply a a, a video we're going to watch a, a, just a couple of minutes of the video and then i'm going to um kind of interpret things from my perspective let's have a listen here okay we'll just run the video and then we'll talk about it here we go The win rate displayed in the team panels during battle helps evaluate both teammates and the enemy team. It motivates the player to be competitive. <laughs> yeah. He's talking about, some of you may not even know this, but uh, see the colors here on the names? Uh, there's people's win rates and color coded. This is a mod, XVM. Uh, which you can download from a third party and run in the game. It's not part of the game client, but some people use this mod. And if you were to be running this XVM mod, for example, if you're on this team, you would look at the enemy team and say, oh, this guy's purple. He's a really good player. These guys are green. They're not that good. They're, they've been careful not to show any red tomatoes on, on the team. <laughs> And that's exactly why uh, people download XVM is so that they could. Uh, what did he say? Let's listen to that again. What did he Teammates say? Teammates and the enemy team. Yeah. It motivates the player to be competitive. It motivates you to be competitive, uh, meaning that uh, if you're artillery, you can focus the shit out of this guy who's purple. And if there were some red players on there, you could just YOLO them and kill their ass and farm them. It, that, it, that's. They translate from Russian to English is sometimes a little loosey, but that's what that means. Let, let's keep watching here. But it also serves as a source of toxic behavior. Really? Regular players and those with great stats can suffer from this. No. Both can be focused on in battle. Oh, that's Opponents terrible. Opponents often try to take down players with good stats first. Especially if you're playing artillery. I didn't ever thought that that could happen. They can be the most dangerous. Bloggers, streamers, players with famous nicknames may regularly encounter, let's call them, trophy hunters. Mm. So, the outcome is the same for everyone. You can't just play. No. That's why we're introducing an anonymizer in World of Tanks. <laughs> this is a feature that changes your real nickname in battle and hides additional information. Oh, wow. Okay, here it comes, guys. This is the anonymizer. To use it, enable the anonymize your nickname in battle. Point in the game tab of the settings window. It's turned off by default. It's up to you to use it or not. Everyone, turn it on. The anonymizer replaces the real player nickname with a generated one on the battle loading screen. What? In team panels during battle and in system messages, for example, about destroyed vehicles. A generated nickname is not a template or abracadabra from which you can easily understand it's not real. Everything looks natural and is read normally. It's an anonymizer. Regarding the win rate, the players who enabled the anonymizer are displayed differently in mods. For example, like new players who haven't played enough. You too. If, if you, your favorite nickname is Humpty, if that's you, your in-game name is Humpty, you can click the anonymizer and henceforth you will be known as Alexei Potapov. <laughs> Battles for their win rate to be displayed. Or as players with no information. <laughs> there are different options, but their real nicknames are displayed in the post-battle statistics. Okay, it's okay, okay, okay. It's enough of this. Okay, so what, what is this? What is this guy talking about? What he's basically saying is that uh, if you play this game and um, you download the game, you the game asks you to create an in-game name, which is your anonymous nickname. And you, there's so many great names out there, like uh, like the, the ice cream truck driver, Herbie the half a bee, uh, you know, these funny names. And you can recognize your friends in the battlefield. But if you want to remain anonymous, you can click the anon anonymizer in uh, the settings. And let's say your name is Herbie the Half a Bee. Well, the anonymizer will change your name to uh, 
Alexei Potapov. So no one can recognize you, and more importantly, the mods that glean information from your in-game name, namely XVM, that shows your win rate and shows whether uh, you're a unicom or a tomato, whether you're, you're red or blue or purple, cannot get your stats. You become anonymous. But weren't we anonymous before? When we just logged... Isn't that why we have in-game names in the first place, so that we're anonymous? Well, let's just read what they have here. The reasons that... Why are, are they com coming up with this thing? Why, why is it even an issue? Well, they summarize. There's three things that are happening. Let's read them here, because they're always trying to look out for the player base and, and take care that, um, you know, that everyone has a good gaming experience. So there's newcomers, streamers, and skilled players. Let's look at the first point here. Many commanders, that players like you and me, many commanders just play for fun. That, that yeah, many, many just regular schmoes just play for fun. They don't have a very high win ratio compared to skilled players. And teammates may criticize them for not playing well enough. That's true. Those poor guys, like Herbie the half a bee. Herbie the half a bee, John Smith from uh, Indianapolis, Ohio, uh, who, who is anonymously named Herbie the half a bee in the game, only plays once every two weeks. He likes to drive backwards and point his gun straight up in the air and shoot HE because he likes the sound and he has a 42% win rate. But he has fun in his own way. Or Herbie the half a bee is constantly getting uh, hate messages and people t that have run XVM can tell he's a tomato with a 42% win rate. They type toxic messages to Herbie. Get good. What's wrong with you? Uninstall. Why are you playing? And the poor Herbie is going to stop playing. They're going to lose a customer. There's a second uh, point here. On the other hand, an experienced player who knows all the maps and characteristics of different vehicles may become a priority target for adversaries and a, <laughs> becoming a priority target for adversaries. <laughs> their, exper <laughs> their experience may be decisive in the battle, so the enemy will try and eliminate them first. This uh, is translated uh, from Russian, meaning if you have if you're a good player and you're purple in the XVM mod and your name shows up there with a high win rate in purple, enemy artillery will shit on you all game, every game, game after game after game. They will shit on you because they want to focus the purple players. Elio Gallo from Mudwater, Arkansas, has been playing this game for five years. He has a 59% win rate and he's purple. And game after game after game, he gets shit on by artillery. He's stunned every 15 seconds. He's stunned again. He's stunned again. Oh, I'm stunned again. Every freaking game, 27 games in a row, and he can't stand it anymore. And he's going to uninstall the game. He's burnt out. These two players, the anonymizer is here to help you. <laughs> But this this is comedy gold now, guys, because I just have to stop right here. <laughs> this, so, okay, so there's players that aren't very good, that are tired of, of uh, toxic hate messages and personal messages being spammed at them because they're not very good. And there's really good players that are sick and tired of being focused and shit on uh, because everyone who runs XVM knows that they, uh, they're good players and they get focused all freaking game and they're just getting worn out. Wargaming is losing customers. It's true. Everyone should have the right to play and have a, a fun game, just anonymously. <laughs> so what's causing these poor players to get toxic hate spewed at them and these really good players from being focused and shit on all game? What, what's causing that? XVM is causing that. <laughs> There's a mod that people can download that tells them you have a shit ass loser, Herbie the half a B on your team, who, who has a 42% win rate, you should be toxic, and you have a Unicom on your team, uh, the ice cream truck, who has a 58. Let's shit on him and ignore him because he's not a threat. But let's not remove XVM. That's not the problem. We have the anonymizer that can handle it. <laughs> Weren't we anon? Isn't Herbie the half a B? And the ice cream truck driver, these two guys, these hypothetical characters that I've invented for the enjoyment of your 
uh, uh, listening on this video. The ice cream truck driver, Unicom, and Herbie the Half of Beat uh, Muppet Man, when they l created accounts, he's from Mudwater, Arkansas, and he's from uh, Illinois or wherever the hell he was from. They chose anonymous nicknames. Herbie the Half of Bee and the ice cream truck driver. They started anonymous. They were already anonymous. They were anonymous until XVM was introduced uh, uh, real time in the game so that everyone could they're no longer anonymous <laughs> if there was no xvm they would herbie the half of me wouldn't have to use the anonymizer <laughs> all right so but anyway there's one more important one more important now this is the comedy go they just keep handing me this stuff guys i don't write this stuff i can't believe it the reason it's uh, it's just uh, uh, unbelievably ridiculous and funny is because uh, it's ridiculous it's funny because it's it's true. It's so ridiculous that it's true. Let me just go through this for you, okay? Our contributors and streamers. <laughs> our contributors and streamers have also frequently requested, uh, begged. Our contributors and streamers have begged us. <laughs> a feature to play with a bit more comfort. <laughs> Let me read that again. I will give you the no bullshit translation. Our contributors and streamers are begging us all the time to allow them to play anonymously. <laughs> Any player can go into battle with a streamer on some fine day. Both the allies and the enemies notice the famous players and they often become the primary targets. Everyone wants to destroy the streamer and the famous people. Even if allies are no longer a problem since we disabled friendly fire, which was a good thing, the enemy will still focus their fire on the contributor or streamer. <laughs> we want to be anonymous. We get focused all the time. We're famous. <laughs> so, okay. They, this is true. Even if allies are no longer a problem, they aren't because the community frequently requested beg the wargaming remove dis disable friendly fire they thought of that carefully for about two or three years uh, while thousands and thousands and thousands of tens and hundreds of thousands of tickets were submitted raging about f team damage and friendly fire. can you disable friendly fire can you get rid of team damage and after three years of contemplating they had a, a meeting and they finally decided well we're Everyone's complaining about team damage. What do we do? And one of them suggested, well, there is lots of team damage. Is teammates shooting other teammates? Uh, perhaps it's best to remove team damage. Yeah, da, da, da. It was a good idea. Hi. And, and they did it. And it was great. It was fantastic. They removed, they disabled friendly fire because there was friendly fire. And now there's no more friendly fire and everyone's happy. Bravo. But, but but this time, <laughs> they got that one right. But now, now guys, <laughs> now they have a situation where uh, poor players that have poor stats are getting trolled and toxic messages sent to them all the time. To the point where if like a new player starts this game and he's not very good and he plays casually and you know he doesn't do very well, he gets dozens of personal messages and in-game threats and uninstall and get good and fuck you why are you playing that he he's gonna go play another game i've had enough of this shit and he's gonna go play another game they're gonna lose him as a customer there's experienced players purple players that have 60 000 battles they have 22 premium tanks they they're addicted to the game but they're burning out they can't take it anymore because game after game after game it's the same they're getting shit on focused by mainly artillery and other players yoloed all the time because they're the purple player on the team and they got to take him out first just getting burnt out thinking of quitting the game they're gonna lose these customers why is this happening because their statistics are being shown in the game by a third party mod called xvm so what we do we have Players that getting toxic hate mail and players burning a want to quit game is because statistics is show. What do we do? And one of them suggested, uh, 
maybe should we remove the mod that shows statistics? What? Remove mod that shows what are some sort of stupid suggestion? No, 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 a better idea. We have anonymizer. <laughs> But, but, and this is the ironic part. This is the, this is the comedy gold, guys. <laughs> the famous, the famous players, the streamers. <laughs> that, <laughs> I can't, it's, they think, you're giving me pearls, guys. The very people, some, not all, a couple, few, famous players, streamers, who promote and use XVM that have their mod packs, that they promote the mod pack to the community, <laughs> distribute and promote and play with and showcase the mod pack that shows uh, whether you're a tomato or a, a blue or a unicorn purple and your win rate. Those streamers, <laughs> famous player, I have the mod pack <laughs> that the very tools that are used to shit on and insult these players here <laughs> and, and, and shit on and make the game horrible for these players, the tools that are used to do that, the very tools that these famous streamers <laughs> promote in, in the mod packs. <laughs> but they want to be anonymous because we want to have we want to play with a bit more comfort <laughs> i i run xvm so that i can see if there's a tomato on the other team that i can yolo <laughs> or if there's a purple player i can I, if i played artillery i can focus him or tell my teammates to <laughs> but i want to be anonymous <laughs> I want to play with a bit more comfort. I frequently request it. <laughs> Wargaming. I'm famous. I'm a famous streamer. <laughs> I, I, I want my statistics to be good. Last time I played, someone had XVM and they could tell that I was purple and they focused me and I died. And, <laughs> and I, my W and 8 went down. It used to be 3,611, now it's 3,609. <laughs> I'm a contributing streamer. I'm famous. I, I want to play anonymously. I want an anonymizer. <laughs> but I still want to use XVM so that I can shit all over the purple players if I'm playing artillery and I can, I can be upset when I have tomatoes. Um, or if there's a tomato on the other team, I want to just charge him because the poor guy can't defend himself. Because he's only played 2,000 games. XVM will tell me this. It, XVM will tell me if there's a, a casual player uh, that doesn't have a very high win ratio compared to a skilled player. XVM will tell me that so I can easily kill him. I want to use my XVM. But I want to be anonymous. <laughs> It's freaking comedy gold! Guys, <laughs> this is the No Bullshit Channel where I call it like it is, okay? And I'm not saying, let me set the one thing straight here. If you use uh, mods that are legal, that's fine. I'm not saying there's, you're doing anything wrong. I'm not saying that everyone who uses xvm is toxic that's not what i'm saying at all there's probably 99 95 percent of people that run any kind of mod uh, or xvm or whatever are just doing it to enhance their gaming experience or or, or do they use it for whatever the fuck they want to use it for i don't use any mods okay i use none zero but some of you do and i'm not having a go at you if you use them that's fine but this is what's happened here if this is an issue that Wargaming has made a video, they have an article, it's a big freaking deal for them. A team damage, uh, team damage friendly fire was a huge deal. They thought about it for fucking years until they finally just, what do we do? Teammates are shooting each other and people don't like it. What do we do? And they, they thought for years. And finally, they, they figured it out. They got it right. They said, okay, 
teammates are shooting each other, people don't like it, we'll remove that. And they got it right. And it's it so simple. It's not rocket fucking science. They got that one right. Now the next major issue here. The, the major issue. Poor players, casual players that don't have a win ratio compared to the skilled players. They get criticized. This is a polite way of saying They get trolled. They get uh, people sending them hate messages. People telling them to uninstall. People at the beginning of the game, you have three or four casual players on three or four tomatoes. And you'll, you always have one guy say, oh, 21% chance of a fuck this. The GG, the game's over. Toxic from the first minute the game starts. You have that. People are looking at player stats and they realize have not very good players getting hate messages. And people looking at player stats, they, they see experienced player. They focus experience by make his gaming experience miserable. Lots of people complain about this because, because mod is showing their stats and everybody is miserable. What do we do? Do they remove the mod? <laughs> do they remove the mod? No! <laughs> I know, it's a stupid idea. We do not remove the mod. We make an anonymizer. <laughs> you can be anonymous now. <laughs> We're already fucking anonymous. <laughs> That's what we do when we load the freaking game. We, we, anyone who starts this game goes to the website and you download the game and it says create account and if your name is Max Johnson and you live in Florida and you don't want everyone to know you're Max Johnson, you create an in-game name and you call yourself the Ice Cream Cone. There. You're anonymous! <laughs> you start off anonymous. The only reason that you're not, that we're not anonymous now is because there's a mod <laughs> That works in real time in the game. That shows everyone, tells everyone all your what your win rate and whether you're whether you're one of these experienced players or whether you're a tomato. But we don't want to remove the mod. Famous streamers <laughs> and famous players have mod packs and they play with mods and they like mods. But they want to be anonymous and play with a little bit more comfort. <laughs> I don't like it when I'm focused. I'm famous. Just because I'm famous, some people focus me. It doesn't, I don't like that. <laughs> but I still want to use XVM so that these guys can get focused. Like what? <laughs> Who comes up with this fucking shit? The anonymizer can help with these issues by addressing sources of negativity and allowing you to enjoy the game in fucking peace. Why can't we just enjoy the game in fucking peace? That... <laughs> what? Why? Why don't you just get rid of X, V, fucking M? That's the whole reason that the, these poor guys get toxic hate and these guys get focused. And the comedy gold is that the, the mod pack that has the XVM in it is promoted, showcased, and distributed <laughs> by the famous player streamers. But they want to be anonymous. <laughs> I, I'm famous. I'm a streamer. I, I, I want to be famous, but I don't want anyone to focus me. I want to be anonymous, <laughs> but I want, I want to use XVM so that I know, so that everyone else isn't anonymous. I want to be anonymous, but I don't want them to be anonymous. <laughs> what this? I gotta translate this whole thing. This whole thing. This whole thing is basically. Very similar to what uh, my government <laughs> in Canada, how they operate, and can be summarized. This is very clear. Like, you could use this as the platform of the government in power in my country right now. And it basically translates, if you want to dispel it into just a few words, the, uh, a, a total chaotic 
clusterfuck. That's what this is. One big... Uh, let me explain it. Let me... Because ex- I'm on a roll here, guys. You're giving me pearls. <laughs> you t- let's start from the beginning. You download the game. And you create an in-game name. Do you know, there's some really good in-game names out there, people that create these funny names and... Uh, it's really nice uh, sometimes, especially on the North American server where there's not a big population. You run into the same people. Oh, there's the ice cream truck. I played with him last week. And it's nice to recognize, you know, the funny in-game names. That's part of the fun. You create your in-game name to start your journey of playing this game. You download the game. You create an in-game name. <laughs> Why do you create an in Why don't you just use, you know, John Smith from 22 uh, Bull Valley Boulevard in Florida? You, you don't use your real fucking name because you want to be anonymous. <laughs> so you start off anonymous. You, the game makes you be anonymous. You create an in-game name and you are anonymous. Then you play for a while. <laughs> And you are, you're either a casual player or you're a, a, a Unicom experienced player or somewhere in between. And someone's developed a third-party mod that assesses your statistics and, uh, and ranks you uh, using a color coding system, <laughs> which famous streamers <laughs> and, and famous people use and promote. And everyone downloads <laughs> so that... During the game in real time, they have all your statistics. So you, you're no longer anonymous. <laughs> you started anonymous, but now you're not anonymous. Everyone knows your stats. And it causes all sorts of toxicity in the game. But, but, it's okay. You started anonymous. Now you're not anonymous. You're getting trolled every game because of XVM. But there is a solution. <laughs> you just have to click this little fucking button here. And then that in-game name that you chose, you know, Herbie, the half a bee, the ice cream truck man, Mr. Vanilla, all those great uh, in-game. The game will delete that name <laughs> and it'll display Alexei Popatov. <laughs> Your problem solved. <laughs> I started as Herbie the half a bee. And I got trolled because I'm not a very good player. People are sending me hate messages. But if I click this little button, now I can play. But I'm not Herbie the Half of Bee anymore. Now I'm Alexei Papapov. <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's a good idea. We have anonymous. Everyone have a Russian name now. <laughs> Alexei Papatov, Vladimir Kapustin, <laughs> Valery Yakushev. <laughs> Oh my fucking Christ, guys. <laughs> there's some things, there's some things that are just, you can't make this shit up, okay? <laughs> and the reason it's funny, it's ridiculous and funny, is because it's freaking, it's true. that There's, there's people that their job is to come up with this stuff. <laughs> We have game where everyone play anonymously with username, but it's become toxic because people no longer anonymous because it's mod in game that that make you not anonymous. So we put button in game. You can become anonymous once again, but not anonymous with your in game. We use different names now: <laughs> Alexei Papatov, <laughs> Vladimir Yakushev, <laughs> Yuri Karkov. <laughs> Well, I don't know about you guys, but I'm not going to use the anonymizer. I'll still be close, Kellerman. And if you find me on the battlefield and you want to kill me and you kill me, you know, good, that'd be great. Send me a message afterwards and we'll have a laugh if you find me. I might kill you first. And I won't focus you if you're an experienced purple player because I won't fucking know because I don't run XVM. And I won't troll you if you're a beginner uh, you know, that doesn't know what he's doing. I won't troll you because I won't know because I don't run X fucking VM. But if you send me a replay, maybe I'll make a funny replay out of it. <laughs> and if you're a contributor or a streamer <laughs> and you frequently requested to play with a bit more comfort, <laughs> I don't want to be focused. I'm so famous. I'm a famous player. <laughs> 
but I still want to re I want to use XVM <laughs> so I can enhance my gaming experience by killing all the little red muppets and avoiding the unicorns. <laughs> it's comedy fucking gold. <laughs> I will leave it at that, guys. That's all I got for you today. I had to do it. I had to do it. If I were the man I was five years ago, I'd take a fucking flamethrower to this place. Hoo-ha!